Hello, welcome to another episode of Alpha Welder. We're back in Meadville, Pennsylvania at Phoenix Laser Solutions, here to show you another repair with our AL Flax 1200 fiber laser. Uh, this is a vein ring for the turbo machinery industry. We do all types of repairs for the turbo machinery industry. Pumps, compressors, turbine components of all shapes and sizes. That's the nice thing about the AL flak is if it's a small part, you can weld it on a table like this, or if it's a really large shaft or rotor, you can pull the machine up to it. Here we have an Inconel 738 vein ring and we're gonna be welding two damaged areas. Uh, we're actually gonna be putting Inconel 625 as our filler material, and this is due to weldability. Inconel 718 has a really bad cracking issue when you try to weld it. The 625, that does not happen. So I'm gonna take you through the step-by-step -step process of what happens when this comes in Phoenix Laser Solutions. Once the part comes in the door, they uncrate it, deliver it to our welder here, Alex. Alex, what's the next step? So from there, we're gonna take it out, find the damage, kind of get an idea of what we're gonna do here, and then we'll go in with a Dremel and prep each area in the surface and a little bit around it make sure we're getting all the impurities out and then we'll clean it put our laser on it add the filler and then ship her back out and just curious what are you using to clean it so we're going to use acetone and a wire brush okay and then you're going to use a hand grinder to clean exactly. that area okay dremel gotcha And there's no preheat required on this part, correct? No preheat. We okay. want to keep as minimal heat input as we can. And they don't have to do a post-weld heat treat after the weld, correct? correct? So Alex, all the preparation's done. You got the surface ground and cleaned. Are you ready to weld now? We're ready to weld. Okay. And today when we're welding, what type of welding are we going to be doing? We're we going to be doing this in CW mode, which okay. is continuous welding. So not pulse mode. So nope. fiber lasers have the ability to pulse and weld in continuous wave mode. This is where the laser is constantly on 100% of the time. So there's advantages to have an alpha, not just with the flexibility of what you can weld size wise, but also the mode of welding. You have a lot of different options. All right, have at it, Alex. Right. Don't forget your safety glasses. Yeah, make sure you have your laser safety glasses before the welding starts. So using the ergo wedge, he's able to comfortably adjust the microscope without having to change his setup. He's also using the turn and tilt optics to achieve a 40 degree angle. So after he adjusts his shielding gas, he's ready to go. And you can see the operator's view on the television behind him. And so he's welding in continuous wave mode, but he's actually engaging the laser with a foot pedal. So it looks like he's pulsing, but it's a continuous wave. He's just doing a little bit at a time. What diameter rod are you using, Alex? We are using 15,000. 15,000.
So in between layers, you're just brushing the dirt off? Yes. Okay. Let's make sure any contaminants are out. So after a short break, Alex had to take a break from welding because the part was getting too hot. He took a few minutes to let it cool. Now he's gonna finish the final layer of weld. We're finished with this part now. Alex has finished welding it. So what's the next step? So we're just gonna take it, ship it back to the customer. They're gonna blend it off, probably FPI to make sure there's no pits or porosity in the weld, then they'll put it in the service. And that is a fluorescent penetrant test, correct? Right? To check for cracking. Yes. Okay. All right, thanks. Okay. You want me in your shot? You want me... It's up to you. Where do you wanna put your shot? Thanks for joining us for another episode of Alpha Welder. Don't forget to subscribe below. Oh, that, you idiot. You gotta do it again.